I'm Rosalind from rosalindnutleyhall.com and I'm here at Cyanotech with Jerry and Jerry we're talking about spirulina and there's a big big question out there to all the vegans and vegetarians I get a lot of comments on my videos and website about not getting enough B12 now personally I since taking spirulina I have not had one issue with B12 mm -hmm. and my energy is fantastic mm -hmm. So I am testimony to that, but I would love your scientific research and data because the question out there is, oh yes, well you can take spirulina, but it lacks the bioavailability mm -hmm. uptake in the body. So I would love your scientific research and answering that question. Well, I guess the first thing to answer your question is spirulina is a good source of vitamin B12. Mm -hmm. Now the controversy or misunderstanding about spirulina not being a good source of B12 comes from the fact that spirulina not only contains human active B12, but it also contains some analogs of B12 that are not that's, human active. That's that little, yeah. um, it's a bit confusing yeah. when you say that, so. Yeah, so, so an analog of B12 is a molecule shaped very similar to vitamin B12, but the body doesn't recognize it or utilize it as B12. Right. Now, some people have said that because that analog is present, that stops the absorption of the true B12. Right. That is not the case. The human active B12 is absorbed. There have been clinical studies showing that indeed spirulina yeah, is a good source, a wonderful source of vitamin B12 for humans, yes. and that it can actually uh, uh, overcome uh, vitamin B12 deficiencies. Yes. And look, all my blood tests, and I get blood tests done every year, since taking spirulina, I have not had one issue with B12. So thank you so much for clearing that question up. Yeah.